What's going on guys? Today we've got a Traxxas UDR. We're gonna take it out for its first run and I'm gonna tell you guys if it's worth the money or if it's a waste of your time. But one of the cool features about these cars, the suspension is crazy. You can see how it drops down. It's super soft. It's got twin shocks on every single wheel. In the front, you've got standard coilover shocks independent on each arm. And in the rear, you've got these trailing arms. that are linked to a solid live axle. This is supposed to be one of the most realistic desert trucks there are. I gotta find out, let's check it out, man. Now, guys, full disclosure, this truck, God, that's cool. You can see how well we can slide it around. Oh yeah. See, in a normal car, any normal RC car, guys, that's gonna roll over and flip. This thing has the best suspension or again, we're gonna find out, but full disclosure, it is slightly used. So I bought this thing off of a guy and he didn't really do much to it. You'll notice that the uh, wheels aren't orange like the body. He told me when he got it, he didn't like the blue body, so he traded it out for the orange one. I said the truck is basically bone stock i mean the dude just liked to work on it he said he had way too many rc cars i'm gonna count this as an unboxing for anybody that wants to say it's clickbait it's an unboxing man you guys know in the box you're gonna get some crappy tools you're gonna get a little wheel wrench it, it's instructions i mean it's not that serious guys i'm gonna turn the abc up i've got it set i'll show you guys i've got it set to dead zero so we're gonna turn it up about a quarter see if that helps with us sliding a little better oh we're covered all right we're gonna go up we're gonna go up to 50 i think i'm at 50 yeah roughly now this is not a, a super crazy basher you're not gonna be sending this thing to the moon or you're not gonna be doing that if you want to have a truck god dude look at that drift we're gonna have to get one of those in slow-mo, guys. Let's check it out. Dude, that suspension. Oh, I love it. Get a little jump. Okay, definitely gonna have to jump this one flat. It got a little sideways on me. But it really does, it, it feels different than any other. That's cool. It feels different than any other truck I have for sure. Like it's, it's kind of hard to control. I'm gonna go back down on the ABC, I believe. But I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna check the motor temps after this. Yeah, see, that's where it shines, guys. Yeah, so you guys can see, we've only been driving this for a few minutes. We're already at 147 on that motor. I'm gonna let it cool down. That, that seems to be one of the issues. Right there is the motor, and it's completely encased in that. So there's no fan on it. It's really hard to get a fan on there. Yeah, and another, another cool feature, while we're waiting on it to cool down, these are functional spares, y'all probably know that. It also comes with a functional center drive shaft. This is all legitimate. This is the most realistic trophy truck I've ever seen, and it really does drive like one. But if you're looking at getting this or like a Baja Ray, this actually has a planetary gear in it, which is gonna eliminate a lot of that torque twist that you get. On the Baja Ray, when you hit the throttle, that left tire likes to lean up and you've gotta hold it and correct it constantly. With this, Traxxas has done quite a few things to try to keep it flat and level. Oh man, that was such a cool one. I'm trying that again. I'm gonna get this jump down, guys. We're gonna take it to another location here soon. And we're gonna get some better jumps. That was a clean turn. 
Beautiful. You can really see those those trailing arms drop down, and that is my favorite part about this style of truck. Hit it again. Oh! We ejected a battery. So that last wreck was uh, a little gnarly. We cracked the shell right there. I think we're gonna be okay. I didn't see any other damage. The battery popped out because that battery door, kind of stupid. Other than that, no damage. The lights are no longer on though. The fact that we didn't break anything though is a miracle to me because these things are notorious for being made out of glass unless you have them in like sand where they belong and like pillows and love and comfort and unicorns and cheese. Other than that, they supposedly break like crazy. I haven't had that yet, so cross your fingers. We're gonna be going to a construction site here soon and y'all know how I get. Something don't seem right. I broke that. I mean, we've had some pretty rough hits. I gotta get used to driving this thing. We'll get it fixed. We'll head out to the next location. I'll see y'all there. All right, guys, we got the center drive shaft fixed. I uh, kind of modified it, so hopefully it'll last. We're at the next location. Let's check this thing out, man. A lot more loose dirt out here, guys, so. Hopefully we can find a couple of good jumps, too. Oh, yeah. This thing handles like a dream in loose dirt. It's so much fun. I keep talking about the handling, but I really just can't express. I mean, look at this thing slide, man. Full speed, just sliding around. Can't even see it anymore. All right, camera lady is going for her first little test drive with the UDR. Let her get a feel for how realistic it is. This does feel really like I'm driving an actual car. It's crazy. You see how much it slides around, dude? It's so fun. <laughs> Donuts are a breeze in this loose dirt. It's so much fun. I can't wait till we get it out in sand. We got a little fun project coming for y'all this October. I can't say enough good things about it. it it has a couple of flaws admittedly um the battery thing like i told you guys it's very limiting definitely gonna have to put a fan on this thing this thing gets ridiculously hot and it's just because it's the, the motor is encased in there so you know that could be a flaw if you're looking for really long run times and you live in an area like i do where it gets over 100 degrees most of the year that, that can be kind of a flaw. It, it, you have to stop driving your car and let it rest. The lights seem a little wonky. Um, not really sure what's up with that. To me, that's not really a big deal, but mine cut in and out on me. I didn't really wreck it that bad, so maybe they're a little fragile. And then the drive shaft. The center drive shaft did pop out. It just lost a pin. I did some research online. And apparently a lot of people had issues with that. It's definitely not the fastest truck and it's definitely not something that you're gonna wanna go out and send sky high because you'll only do it once before you gotta rebuild it. However, if you're looking for something that you can just come out to a place like this, all this loose dirt, sand, whatever it is, and slide around and just have a good time just driving something that looks and feels like a real vehicle, dude, this, this is the coolest. I mean, I've never driven anything that feels this realistic. It's so much fun to drift around. I can't wait to throw the paddles on it and come out here and actually get some traction. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10 in its stock format. 
we'll put some upgrades on. I got a couple surprises on the way for you guys that I think you'll like, and that number's probably gonna get boosted up. I hope you guys appreciate this, man. Like I said, we're out here in 100 degree weather, sweating like crazy to get some content for you guys, but it's well worth it. I appreciate all the love you guys keep giving, man. Got some cool stuff in the works. Guys, if you wanna see more, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any ideas or any cars you wanna see on the channel, drop it down in the comments. I love you guys. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Peace.